design, art, craft, okay, I feel are three different stratospheres or three different circles of people. And although I kind of like the idea of trying to be an artist, I'm not one. But really what I, I've always tried to do is, is actually define, I mean this sounds a bit pretentious, but try and define a new territory that does exist in that middle zone. Really, I, I don't, within my work, I don't try and design objects to be made on a computer. I design objects full stop and that I want to tell a story about. If that happens to use uh, digital processes, then that's great. If that just comes down to using a spoke shave and draw knife and an idea, then I'll do that. I, I sort of, I don't detest objects that are just purely um, made via digital technology. I just want that little bit more from them because I find that there is a, there's a habit in the, in the design world, in the craft world of just demonstrating a process through a machine. And I think those objects are quite short lived in the way that they, uh, communicate to people. Um, they will talk of that moment and that machine for a very short period of time until the next machine can do something that bit better. So for me an object has to be more than just a presentation of a digital process. It has to have another layer to it. In the show we've got, um, I can't think off the top of my head now how many different projects but quite a few. But basically all of them uh, talk about the process, talk about the people that I did it with or a place. Um, so hopefully there'll be a good selection of work and something for a, uh, to really sort of feed your imagination and your thoughts on kind of why we make an object, who we do it for and, and what good's it going to do, you know, rather than thinking solely about your perhaps ego through making an object, um, thinking about how many other people that can potentially benefit through what you make. Right.